We're back to the Neil Haley Show and also the Love Is Celebrity segment. I'm excited to welcome the, program. the uh, author of Love Is, Kim Sorrell. Kim, how are you? And I know you're excited about our guest. Hi, Neil. I'm doing great. And yes, I am so excited about Gigi Orsello. She has been acting since she was two and a half years old. Two and a half years old. Can you imagine? And has been in commercials and films on TV and done so many things. She has three beautiful daughters. A dog named Betty Boo of all. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> and just I graduated um, at, with the highest distinction, right, from college, uh, summa cum laude, which is amazing. And Gigi, you're beautiful and wonderful. And I am so excited to talk to you, Running the Bases. What a great movie. And so welcome. Welcome to our show. Oh, thank you so much. That's so kind of you. I'm so happy to be here. So I'm, I'm excited to talk to you guys today. So uh, I love running the bases. What, oh, good. <laughs> what a great movie. And you are so incredible in it. I loved Family Thank Camp too, by the way. Oh, totally thanks. Great character in this one. Yeah. But, uh, what a great character. I mean, the way marriage is portrayed, the way women are yeah. portrayed, like what, what did you? When, when I was... When I first met the directors and writers of the film, um, Marty Roberts and Jimmy Womble, they, as they described this character to me, they said, we want to see strong women portrayed on the screen. Um, and you'll notice that with the, the mom, the mother character, Mama D, uh, they wanted to show women who are strong, supportive wives and mothers and aren't just kind of like they're on the side, you know, because we have such an important role um, in not only our, our husband's um, visions and their, their callings, but like for the whole family, the, the greater stretch of it all. And I think that they wanted to portray the fact that um, a strong marriage really can uh, make a difference in, in, so in your in your calling so i love that they they put those scenes in there where she is basically saying no you are going to stick to what god has told you to do and and she sharpens him to make him um make him better so yeah i i love this role so much you know you know Gigi, what's interesting when you talk about this is that the fact is that it's so important to have a good woman by your side if you don't have uh, you don't have a right life partner with you or be with somebody in the right way, you're not going to really transform yourself to be the pure person that you need to be. Right. Yeah. And I think um, I think that this movie is such a great example to show that sometimes we are weak in our own, you know, in our own strength and we need people, wives, friends, community to say I will stand there with you. I will fight with you. I will help you, you know, hold you up when you're weak. And, and uh, of course with the Lord's help, but I do, I just, I love the, the picture of uh, two is stronger than one and three is the most powerful, right? Three, the, the, right. Three, the three chord. Yeah. You know, there's a scene that I think uh, was so good, but I, I wonder how many people really paid attention to it enough. And that's when you decided to move to Texas. Oh, yeah. Because that was a big thing. Your son was a, the character is a junior, going to be a junior yes. in high school. I mean, that's hard for a kid. You know, you've, yeah. you, you were where you grew up and all of that. And yet the way the scene played out was just beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, I think um, when her first reaction is, no way am I doing that. <laughs> <laughs> like you're, you're crazy and then when he tells her that he feels that it's like that God has been speaking to him about this the fact that she respects that she respects the the fact that he has a stirring in his spirit to do something um it just shows you the relationship they they have had and the fact that they've been friends for so long and then you know in in marriage for so long the fact that they that she says if God is telling you, he's telling me, you know? So yeah, I love it. I love that scene. Absolutely. And what do you think you learned most from doing this film? 
Oh, what I learned most from doing this film. Well, I think uh, the thing that I have learned most is just that when one person stands up, it really can make a ginormous difference because the ripple effect um, can be so huge, right? When one person says, this is what God's called me to do, you never know the impact that it's gonna have. And I think that even just in the filmmaking, um, the directors came up against so many, um, so many issues to say, no, it's too much, Jesus. This is too strong of a message. There's too much prayer. There's too much this. Um, and even to get funding for it or to get distribution for it. But they just kept saying, no, this is what God has called us to do. And we're going to do it. And so it, it's, it's, a, it's a fun like symbol of what they went through, the actual film of saying, no, this is what God has called me to do. And I'm going to do it. And then to see how it affects. One of my favorite scenes is, um, you know, in the kitchen, I say, this whole town is watching you. They're watching you to see what you do. And he doesn't really think about that. He's like, no, I'm just doing this thing. And then my favorite scene is when he sits at that ball game and he sees the little boy start to run the bases. And he realizes people are watching and I am making a difference. And they are going, why is he doing that? Why should I do it? And then I just love that. I love that little piece. Oh my gosh. I love that little piece too. I cried. I cried yeah. to see most of the movie. It's, uh, it is a movie that you definitely want a box of Kleenex nearby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was so good. And, um, I also love when, uh, the turned around baseball cap, Oh, <laughs> the, the, the younger you, but yeah. you know, like some of the scenes, the older you, I thought, gosh, you should have a baseball cap on now because you'd yeah. be turning it around. Right. <laughs> you have to say, and just kind of hammering the points home, but not just a wife, but also a mother. Yeah. And, you know, and mother. One of, another wonderful scene that I really love is, um, you know, one of the kids in one of the players has a, uh, has a mom who has died. Um, and he's really struggling. And the fact that she gets to have a sweet impact on these kids as well, these kids in her community, because I remember when I was a kid, my mom did that for my neighborhood friends and my school friends and friends who were dealing with abuse at home or dealing with whatever. They came to my mom because she was the safe place because she showed them kindness, you know? And so I loved in that scene, I was thinking about how my mom did that for my friends. So yeah, I love that. And, and women really do have so much power for a community, for our kids, friends, for, you know, just the whole community. So, yeah. It's such yeah, great so stuff. Go, okay. go ahead, Kim, sorry. Yeah, I was just gonna say that's so true. And you know, the, the one thing that I wanted was the home that everybody would come to, that all yeah. the friends would feel welcome. And that is what you portrayed in the movie, having the sleepover and grilling out and having the boys over. Because the relationship wasn't a typical, maybe, well, I don't know, it was, it was such a deep relationship coach with the kids. Mm -hmm. And it had such a bigger impact. His whole goal, your husband in the movie's whole goal was so much more than teaching baseball. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. And I, and I think that teams and coaches have really loved to have loved to bring their, their kids to this as, as, you know, an entire either baseball team or football team or soccer team to say, this is, it is more about more than winning. It's about how we can strengthen each other, how we can be better people, better men, better players. Um, yeah. So yeah, there's so many different totally, little messages. Totally. I film. think sports brings such community and yes. the community because there's the community of the players, the parents, everyone together, all together. And if it's the right message in sports and where it is it is competitive, but ultimately at the end of the day, it's about friendships and relationships and learning how yes. to lose, learning how to uh, get along with others. Sports really, people who play sports really can get that angle. And it's good that this yes. involve baseball to put that out there because it's showing, hey, if we're not doing these things, 
we're not doing the right thing running our baseball organization or doing different things if you're not having the results like the story tells. Right. Yeah. The sports really, it, team sports has so many life lessons and especially like the coach. I, I have so much admiration for coaches that, you know, they, they don't usually make a ton of money and they really, a lot of them do do it for um, the love of, of teaching kids how to be, you know, better adults. Yeah. So true. So true. I coached for years and Oh yeah. Yeah. And, and, you know, it's a funny thing with God. It's like, you think you're giving, but you can never be out given right. With the things that you do, you can just never be out given. So as a mom yourself with your three beautiful, beautiful daughters, Oh, thank you. uh, But what did you see uh, with the movie? Was there any mom thing that came out that, that you use at home or that's part of you? Sorry, you, you cut out just a tiny bit. Can you re- repeat what you said? Yeah. So is there a mom thing, you know, something as a mom that, that you use in the movie that you bring home or that you use at home that you brought to the movie? Oh my goodness. I think motherhood has changed my acting so much just because I can, it, it, motherhood is the well of emotion. You know, it's like you can feel frustration and you can feel anxiety and fear and you can feel love and you can feel all these deep emotions that it's brought out in me to be able to bring to screen. I have seen like such a difference in, in what I'm able to bring emotionally since being a mom. Um, but yeah, I, I think, um, I love to bring my girls to set. I love for them to get to see what mom does when she's gone and to see that it's, it is more than just going and, you know, being in a scene and doing, it, it is a community even on a film set. Mm-hmm. And, um, and it's so fun because, you know, on these faith-based productions, there are a lot of believers, but there are also plenty of crew that are not. And I always love to get to set and go, God, who, who am I here for? <laughs> you know, and, 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 it, you know, we all, we still sharpen each other as believers, but it's fun to go, oh, have a conversation on set and go, oh, this is one of the reasons I'm here, you know? And so kind of getting to have them experience that and, and Absolutely. them to go, oh, mom is, mom is on a mission too. You know, she's not just, um, you know, going to be a movie star, you know? So Gigi, where's the best place people can watch the film? Right now, where's the best place? Yeah. Um, well, if you go to runningthebasesmovie.com, you can see uh, where it's playing right now, where it's streaming. Um, the DVD will be out soon, so you can go and pre-order it. There's a bunch of different places you can pre-order it. I know you can do that on Amazon, because I did. <laughs> I went and bought my pre-order. So yeah, runningthebasesmovie.com. We appreciate it. Thank you again. Yeah, thanks, guys. Okay, you're listening and watching The Neil Haley Show, and we'll be back in just a moment.